Basically what science has got to do is bring knowledge and it's got to be dispassionate knowledge. It's got to be, this is the evidence. It's not political, it's not hearsay, it's not belief or whatever, it's evidence, but it's evidence drawn from a wide variety of studies from highly skilled people doing high quality work. Well, the best way to look after the reef is to have the best available scientific knowledge in the hands of uh, the public and the governments that make decisions about the use of the reef and agencies like mine that uh, work on the reef day to day. Every time somebody goes out in a boat we learn something more. Um, when we've got them going from the north of the reef to the south of the reef, um, getting better understanding, better understanding of recovery, better understanding of resilience. Well, this is our solar panel and um, this unit hopefully will be powering our a variable speed controller for our, our ball. Everything I suppose that we do is based on the science or the best science we can get on that day. It's got to be based on good science it, and, and, and factual information. You know, like um, everybody can drag reports from all over the place to say whatever they want to say. But you know, getting good information to those guys uh, so they can understand what the issues are and more importantly find a pathway to a solution that delivers the value, you know, because that's the hard part. Uh, VETS, this is JC Vessel Wadanaka, do you copy? This research that I'm doing here in Townsville at the moment, that's on the inshore dolphins. Dolphins are a really good indicator on the health of the reef, the ecosystem and coastal systems. So if you have a good dolphin population, then that indicates that it's a good, healthy uh, reef type environment, reef coastal environment. To know that uh, we have a healthy population of, of dolphin and dugons and turtles is important to us. Funding from the Australian government through this project allows us to be able to get out on our sea country a lot more, uh, get to know our species out there, our animals and our plants. The reason we participate and assist in, in this sort of research project is because um, down the track the data actually assists us through the Tumra. Um, in allowing our TOs with that, that scientific data to be able to make um, an, an informed decision on the management um, yeah, of, our, of our species. I'm personally uh, committed to really good science being well used, properly used. I think there is a lot of good science being done and the group that I chair has people from all sorts of scientific backgrounds and social sciences as well. The multidisciplinary or transdisciplinary nature of the panel is extremely powerful. That's what the reef needs. We need a, um, a, a group of multidisciplinary uh, experts to actually give that independent advice. I think it's really important that the panel, the benefit of the independent expert panel, is that we can bring those ideas together and synthesise them into one um, concinct, concise and succinct output. We've got the best minds of social, economic, biological, um, management, government policy, uh, all, all of these technical uh, minds in the room bring such a wonderful diversity of expertise. We know some of the things we've got to do, research will tell us more of the things that we have to do. Um, and, and I think as, as Australians, as Queenslanders, as scientists or farmers or, or, or tourism operators, as global citizens, we've got to do it.